Hi YouTube, so today I have filmed this makeup look for you. I think it's the perfect look for Valentine's Day. This is also a collab with the gorgeous Alana here on YouTube. So um, she is doing her styles that you can wear on your Valentine's Day date or just any date night. Um, she is absolutely stunning. Her videos are amazing. So if you're not subscribed, which I'm sure a lot of you are, please go and check her out because she's absolutely stunning. And she has agreed to do this collab with me, so I'm uh, so grateful and so excited. Um, so yeah, I just created this like kind of soft burgundy smoky eye with lashes and um, a nude lip. So I thought it would be perfect for any date night. Um, I also paired it with a nude lip because I think when you're going out for uh, maybe for dinner, for a few drinks, it's better to wear a nude lip rather than a dark one because dark lips can get messy when you're eating. But of course, you can pair this with any lip that you want. Um, so if you want to see this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so first we're going to use Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. That is this one here. It's kind of washed out on um, camera, but it's like a, just a really pale brown. And I'm just going to load it on to my Morphe. M330 brush and put that through the crease and I will be looking down with my mirrors down here too and just do that in back and forth in a wind, windshield uh, motion I have done this eye obviously just because um, to speed things up a wee bit as I think some um, some makeup tutorials can end up um, taking quite a while I'm just building that up throughout my crease. And then I'm just getting a big fluffy brush, which is the Makeup Pro Store brush in shade 19 with absolutely nothing on it and just blending out the edges. Just make sure that everything is really, really nicely blended. That's really the trick of it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the Real Ready Tone Shadow, which is Bitten by Makeup Geek, which is this one down here. It's just a gorgeous red burgundy eyeshadow that I think everybody um, should have in their collection. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just putting it on with a wee um, fluffy brush. And this time I'm concentrating it more in the outer corner and just blending it in until it fades out. And I'm just dragging it in from the corner and just blending it in ever so slightly but mostly concentrating on the outside corner and don't worry if this gets messy we are going to blend 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 like that's the trick of this look so just drag it in roughly and then I'm getting the same brush and um, the makeup store 19 brush and I'm just again with absolutely nothing on it I'm just going to blend all the edges into the transition color What I think scares a lot of people about um, doing different makeup looks is at the start when they put it on, they're like, oh my goodness, this is such a mess, I don't like it, um, blah, blah, blah. But I think the trick is, is just to work through the mess and it will get to um, a look that is obviously blended out and stuff like that. So just work through the messiness and you will end up being with getting the uh, perfect look. And again, I'm just going in with a wee bit more product and just deepening it up. Okay, so now I'm going to get Cherry Cola, which is this slightly darker burgundy red here. Just with a wee, so we have a 231 um, Petite Crease Brush. And I'm just going to get a wee bit of that onto my brush. Tap it off and I'm going to put this really into the outer corner and through um, to the crease the tiniest bit but mostly concentrating on the outer corner to really deepen it up. And then again with the, um, with the brush with nothing on it, just blend it all out. And again, I'm just playing about and just adding and blending as much as I think needs done. Okay, so now I'm getting another Makeup Geek shadow and it's in the spotlight. It is this one here. Hopefully you can see. That one here. I'm just getting it on my ring finger. Just getting a wee bit on my finger and putting that onto the lid. 
I like to use my finger rather than a brush for the foiled shadows because I think they go on so much more pigmented. And just kind of blend it out with your finger. So I'm just going to put it on like this. And this is where the fun part comes in. This is the glitter which is my personal favourite part. Okay, So I'm just going to use some of the Italy Cosmetics Liquid Sparkle Bond. And I just put some into the lid. I'm just getting a wee bit on my finger. Make sure it's not too much or else the glitter starts to go like kind of chunky. Just get some on my finger and pat it on top of where I just put um, the foiled shadow. So again, just a wee bit on my finger, dab it off and pop it on, oh sorry, pop it on to my lid. Then I'm going to get some of the Makeup Atelier um, Paris glitter in blank ore. I'm just going to get a wee bit of that on my finger just by doing that and then press it onto the ball, the, the sparkle bond. I'm now going to add some liquid liner which I can never ever do um, on camera so I'm going to give it a go so please don't judge me. Okay so today I'm going to use the NYC uh, uh, the liquid eyeliner just in black and I'm not going to talk when I'm doing this because I always mess this up on camera so be patient. Okay so I didn't actually mess that up too bad there and I'm quite happy with that. Um, now I'm just going to, oh before I put any of this on I forgot to say, I used um, the soft ochre paint pot on my uh, lids just as kind of like a primer. So I'm just using the brush that has a wee bit and I'm just cleaning up the line at the side a wee bit because I put some underneath my lid too, underneath um, my lash line too. I'm just going back to creme brulee and just getting this on a wee tiny um, brush, this is by Kira Daily. Just getting some on and this is for the lower lash line so it's a nice transition colour before we put the darker colour on. So I'm just going to pop some underneath my lash line. Just like that, just to kind of smoke it out and to make the next colour that we put on top not as harsh. So I'm going to put a wee bit of bitten on and I'm just using the Makeup Pro Store um, brush in number 20. It's just kind of like a wee flat shader brush. I'm just getting some on that, tapping it off and just running this through my uh, lower lash line. And then if you need to, just to blend it out further, just get your wee um, brush before with the creme brulee and just run it through just to really soften the edges because that's what we want. We don't want harsh edges in any of our makeup apart from our liner and brows so take that into account. Okay so now I'm just going to curl my lashes um, and put a wee bit of mascara on before I put my fake lashes on so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay so I'm just waiting for this lash glue to get a wee bit tacky um, before I place these on so I'm using the eyelashes 100% human hair in the style Lorne. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love them. They kind of um, remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, so they're gorgeous. So definitely check these out. Um, and they're really, really good, well priced as well. So definitely check them out. So I'm just waiting for the lash glue to dry a wee bit. Um, if you want to, because I know lashes are a thing that a lot of people struggle with, I could do a full video on how to apply false lashes, what's the best way to apply them and stuff like that like techniques to make it easier so comment down below if you would like that um but for the mind for the meantime i'm just gonna skip through this quickly and um get on with the rest of the tutorial okay so that's the eyes done i'm now going to zoom you guys out and finish off the face because obviously i do my eyes first um, because of fallout, because of glitter and stuff like that. So I'm going to zoom you out until I do um, the my base and my contour, my highlight and stuff like that. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD um, foundation in um, N120. So I'm just going to place that on my face and then blend it in with the Morphe 439 brush. I 
And for concealer, I'm just going to use the Last Imperfection uh, Concealer by Collection in the shade Medium or Cool Medium. Just for under my eyes. And I think for quite a dramatic eye look, it's important to highlight and conceal under your eyes because you don't want anything taken away from your eyes. You want the main focus to be on the shadow. And I'm just using the Soeva um, 110 Face Shape Brush. Okay, so I am so flat right now. So I need um, to set my foundation and add some colour. So to set it, I'm just going to use the, my Holy Grail Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Press Powder. And for under the eyes, I'm using the Morphe. 438 brush which is just a wee pointed tapered um, blush just to get right under and close to the shadow without ruining it um, but that can really really set the concealer into place so it doesn't crease and then for the rest of the face I'm moving on to this brush which is the Morphe G.O brush which is the big face powder brush I'm just going to completely mattify my face Now I'm going to um, contour and bronze my face as I am a complete blank canvas right now. So I'm just going to use this wee Jessup uh, 06 brush and my Hula by Benefit which I haven't used in so long. And I'm just going to um, get some of that in, tap it off and tip the brush on this on the side, suck my cheeks in and go along my contour or my jaw or <laughs> my cheekbone. I really like this brush because it already almost blends it out as soon as you put it on. And then the other side. Okay, and so you don't look completely crazy, you then need to bronze up your face so you don't just have two stripes down your face. So today I've chosen to use Jessup brush in 05, which is this big bronzer brush, and the MIC Smooth Skin um bronze and face powder in the shade sunny so I'm just going to get that and go around the kind of outer part of my face just to bring all the colour back in that we lost with the concealer and the foundation okay so now I'm going to go off and do my brows really really quick because I have a brow tutorial already on my YouTube although I'm thinking of doing an updated one because I've started using different products so let me know if you would like to see an updated brow tutorial so I'll be back in a minute with my brows Okay, so that's my brows done. So I'm going to move on to blusher. And um, for blusher, I've been recently really loving this blush. It's the Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. And it is in the shade Easy, which is the second one on the middle one on the top line. And I'm just using the Real Techniques Blusher Brush. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and pulling it back. Okay, so next for today, I'm going to use my Becca um, Champagne Pop Highlighter. And I'm going to use it with the Morphe 510, or 510, M510 brush. I'm just going to get a wee bit on that, flick it off, and. Okay, so now for my lips, this is my favourite combination at the minute. It is my um, MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Nice and Spicy, along with my Velvet Teddy and uh, Myth in the middle. So I'm going to speed through this and put it on and let you see what it looks like okay and this is the final look i think this is perfect for valentine's day or for any date night look um because it's pretty it's got your red it's got glitter it's got lashes nice nude lip although you could pair this with a pretty much any lip um so yeah and to find out what kind of hairstyles you could wear for your Valentine's date, please remember to head over to Alana's channel. She is absolutely amazing and I, I just know that it will be an amazing video. Um, so definitely head over to her channel. All her links will be down below. Uh, down below um, her video, her YouTube, her Instagram. Everything will be down in the box below. So please, please, please go check it out because she is absolutely amazing. Um, and you'll find out some amazing hairstyles that you can wear for Valentine's Day. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!